Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news announcements for St. John in Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on SandylandCenter.org, our website. Today is Monday, the 19th of September. It's 77 degrees and sunny in the square, and we're looking at a possible high temperature of 87. So the warm weather is coming back a little bit. Then tomorrow it will be sunny and 85. Wednesday, <coughs> there are scheduled to have showers, uh, 69 the high temperature and 40 uh, the percent of chance of a shower. Hello. Then on uh, Thursday, Friday and Saturday it will be yeah. sunny every day, 77 Thursday, well, well, 78 well, Friday well, well, and 83 on Sunday. Happy birthday today to uh, Sharon Chrisman and Suzanne Hildebrand, and happy birthday Tuesday to Randall Tucker. Uh, now that we're back to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday again, the county commissioners meeting from this morning uh, will be on after the 6.30 news today and not on Wednesday. The, uh, also, the uh, I guess the uh, major uh, uh, local government uh, most important news is that the city is having a public hearing at the American State Bank Tuesday at 7 o'clock. And that's usually the time of their scheduled uh, council meeting. So they're having this public hearing uh, that has to do with uh, the water system and the uh, proposed water plant and all of the things that affect water and uh, they're going to be explaining that to people that are interested and probably answering questions. And then when they close that meeting that starts at 7 as a hearing, I expect it will be followed by uh, the regular council meeting whenever that is over. Maybe they'll have a little bit of intermission in between. So if you're one of those people who doesn't want to say in two years, why didn't somebody tell me? I hope that I'll see you there on Tuesday evening because uh, this has been going on for at least a year now and uh, you know it'll uh, take another year probably to get anything finished but things like water rates and loans and things like that are going to happen much sooner. So I think it would be a good idea to go and find out what's going on. And then, of course, they'd have their regular meeting after that. <clears throat> and that may change how we try to have it on the television. It's possible that we'll have to record it and then put it on at another time on the television. It's also possible that we can figure out how to have it live, in which case we will try to do that. So try tuning in at 6.30 uh, Tuesday night, and you'll see if we're there or if we have to replay it at another time. Another thing that's going to happen in town in a while, uh, which is a really neat thing, is that the Science Museum is uh, inviting the Wichita Model A Club uh, to come to town on Saturday the 8th, and they will have about 50 Model A cars uh, parked around the square uh, that people can come and look at and perhaps talk to the owner. Uh, and if you're old enough to remember back what they used to look like. And for those of you who never saw a Model A, it would be a good thing just for an educational experience to come and look at a few to see how it all got started. And uh, the Hall Museum would also be open as well, uh, but the event is being sponsored by the St. John Science Museum, and uh, there I want to thank them for having an event that will bring all these people to the town, uh, and it may even bring people to town just to see the Model A Club, uh, not just people that are driving Model A's. So that's good. We need to expose as many people as possible to town, and uh, perhaps that will cause there to be a little bit more business at Dillon's and some of the restaurants and other places in town because these Model A people are going to be walking around looking at things and that's good. We've got a lot of good things to look at and a very beautiful square. <coughs> the Rec Commission 
on Thursday, the 22nd, uh, from 3.30 to 4.30, is having something for kindergarten through sixth grade students. And it's called Fun with Paint and a Pillowcase. And I'm not sure I want to know what's going to happen. That sounds pretty dangerous. So 549-6549 uh, is the rec center's number. And you might call and make a reservation so they know how much paint and other stuff to have uh, for this event for kindergarten through sixth grade students. <coughs> Also, the Stafford County Health Department has flu shots available at $20, and most insurances will cover those. So if you call up at 3504 and let them know you're coming, make an appointment, uh, you can bring your medical card or your insurance card with you, and that will probably take care of the, the uh, money and then you'll have the flu shot. And uh, a lot of people will think that flu shots are extremely important. And uh, I know the, uh, the people at the cancer center uh, uh, let me know that if I didn't have a flu shot, they wouldn't treat me anymore. So uh, <laughs> I have to get one. But I think I had one last year. And I'm not sure you have to do it every year to qualify. You do? <laughs> okay. So I'll probably be having one sometime. Uh, <clears throat> then on the 23rd, which is Friday, the Medicine Lodge Peace Treaty and Parade and Pageant take place. And the Recreation Commission is uh, taking the bus. And they, the parade is at 10 o'clock. The pageant's at 1 they're going to leave at 8 and come back at the close of the pageant. But I hope that if you haven't been there and you have the time, uh, it would be a good thing to go see on your own, even if you don't go with the bus and you might want to stay later for some reason. Anyway, the fee is uh, $30 for that. And again, that's the 23rd, Friday. And then Wednesday the 28th, <coughs> is uh, what seems to be a monthly activity, the trip to the Dodge City Casino. So uh, they have one here, let's fill up the bus with happy casino participants. And uh, we hope that uh, a lot of people from St. John go <coughs> and win lots of money at the casino and then bring it back home. And then if you won, make a good donation to the Science Museum or the Shepherd Center or the Minister's Fund, and then uh, who knows, maybe that will affect your luck. Uh, then I guess we finally get to the menu, and the one I have is for Maxville. So at the Maxville VIP Center, they're having beef and macaroni and cheese uh, as we speak. Uh, tomorrow they'll have oven fried chicken and mashed potatoes with gravy. That sounds like a good thing. And then on Wednesday, beef tips on noodles. So if you're over there in Maxville, especially if you're a senior and you want to get out to the VIP center and have lunch, it's a great lunch they have over there. And they have uh, quite a center that has good fellowship. So if you're a senior in Maxville or anywhere else for that matter, and, uh, you're, you would like to have some fellowship along with a great lunch, well, go over to the VIP Center uh, in Maxville and now you know what they're going to eat. Uh, that's all the news and announcements I have and one time more I'd remind you to stay tuned for the County Commissioners at 6.30. And the word of the day is this, when you make your mark in the world, Watch out for all the guys with the racers. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a great Monday and a great week.